Hi, I'm David Wells, and this is the Salford Diocesan Catechist Preparation Course. Hello, I want to thank you, no, really thank you for being a catechist. Um, I have the privilege of doing this sort of work all over the world. I've got to tell you this, when people who understand the word ask me what I am, I say I'm a catechist. A catechist is somebody who, who echoes, echoes the experience of God into their own life experience and back out again. They are in fact a sort of visual of the work of the Lord and we echo the entire tradition of the church. It's their best job ever and I want to thank you for doing it. Now the problem is, as soon as I start to talk like that, what happens is you go into anxiety or at least most people do. Just look, we suddenly are overwhelmed by thoughts of I'm not holy enough, uh, I'm not ready enough, there are people here who know more than I do, surely fathers should do this. It goes straight into all of our insecurities. Ladies and gentlemen, stop it, stop it. This is six video clips, just six. And in each one there's a little pearl of wisdom, it doesn't come from me, it comes from the church. And it's to help you, it's to help us to be authentic. So the first thing is to do, please, please, please drop all that anxiety about how you don't know enough and will you be right enough and, and will you speak God's words and, and goodness, I'm, I, you know, I never thought I'd be doing this and why am I doing it? Well, you're doing it for a good reason and your motives are good. So drop the anxiety for a minute. Tip number one. Let me tell you, it's a massive mistake. I see it all the time and I fall for it myself. Right, when you're preparing a session for the children or the adults, whoever it is that you're working with, when you prepare a session, what do you spend most time doing? Praying or preparing? Now, they're sort of one and the same thing, but let me tell you, most people lose the prayer. It's a strange thing, but we forget where our power comes from. It's incredible. We can do anything through the power of Christ, but here we are relying back on our own strength and we go after the books and after the content and all those things are important. But you know, you can skip the prayer. You know, the fourth part of the Catechism of the Catholic Church is entirely devoted to prayer. And the interesting thing is where it begins. It begins with humility. Humility is the foundation of prayer. Hey, now, just when you think you're no good at praying, you're ready to receive the gift of prayer. That's what it says in the Catechism. You're not an expert in prayer. In fact, you come as a beggar before God. You are, in fact, humble before the Lord. So when we begin our catechetical sessions, the first thing we do is acknowledge, accept and get over that we're not perfect, all right? You're not perfect and neither am I. I had the privilege of knowing that my dad was dying. It meant that I had about six weeks to have really good conversations with him. And one of the conversations we had was this. I said to my dad, Dad, of all the things you taught us, what do you still want me to hear when you can't say it anymore? And he looked at me and he smiled and then he said to me this, he said, David, don't take yourself too seriously. And then he added, you're gonna die get over it. Let me tell you, there's a real risk without prayer that it becomes all about what we do and not about what the Lord does. And then we go into panic. So there's two things I'd like you to ask you to do, please. One is to pray and just lighten up a bit. And then the second thing is make sure that at some stage during the course of what you do, people see you pray. They see that it's you praying, that it's important to you to, to pray how, however you pray. 
And that leads me to the last point in this first section, and it goes a little bit like this. You do know, don't you, that broadly speaking, the church prays in two languages. The first is an inherited, beautiful, crafted language of 2,000 years of developed prayer and theology. You know the sort. Think of the prayers you learnt if you grew up as a child. Hail Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life and our sweetness and our hope. To thee do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. I learnt that when I was seven. I didn't know what it meant. They're crafted, beautiful words. They have purpose and meaning, but they're inherited. They're not actually my words. When I grow older, I'll inherit them. But in my infancy, I didn't properly understand them. That doesn't make them bad, but it does require the other language of prayer, which Pope Francis calls a personal encounter. In fact, in his document on evangelization, he repeatedly calls the church, I invite everybody at this moment to a personal encounter with Jesus Christ. And there we go to the teaching of Pope Benedict, who said, you know, if you want to meet Christ, if you want to meet him more than understand him, at some stage, you have to stop the words. You know, all the essays, you know, all the words that we rehearse, you know, Lord, please make sure that I don't mess up during the course of this session and make sure that all the children receive the grace that they should. And the Lord goes, whoa, just put it down. Be still. Know that I'm God, says the Lord. And, and in silence, just... Let it go, let it go. A tiny tip from St Francis de Sale about how to pray if you're really busy. Have you seen the captions on all the stations and the airports at the moment? It says, see it, say it, sorted. It's a kind of message about suspicious behaviour. Well, for St Francis de Sale, he came up with something quite similar to that. In your process of prayer, if you're in a hurry, three tips very quickly before a session. First, ask, see it, you know, ask, Lord, be present. The second tip is offer whatever the situation is to him. Offer it. And the third is accept what happens. See it, say it sorted, that you sort of ask God, be present in this session tonight. Offer it to him and accept what happens. You can do that very quickly. You can do that very quickly in the private of your heart before you begin a session. Lord, I ask you, just your will be done. And I offer this hour to you. And I truly accept now that it's yours and I'll live with what happens next. You can do that in just a few seconds and it can transform your session. Remember two styles of prayer. Always hold on to the inherited language of the church, the Lord's Prayer, the great prayers of the church. And at the same time, make sure that you're connected with a personal relationship and encounter with the one who comes to save us. That's how you prepare best for these sessions. Don't lose sight of your prayer, okay? So now, here's a quote, and after the quote, a couple of questions. Here they come.